What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Caps through side you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you like to donate, type for row five. Um, thanks everybody for all the love and support of the channel. Um, all the likes, subscribes, and shares. Um, I was going to say something else. I had a brain fart. <laughs> um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, the link's in the description box below. I posted on the community tab. A, um. I've done several readings. I built up quite a clientele on my personal reading side now. But I did a personal reading um, last night, 10-6 of 2022, and um, she left a um, review for um, the session we had on one of the one of my readings of four months prior. And I, um, I posted it on the community tab and asked her if it was okay, and she said it was. So if anybody wants to check out the... the uh, the uh, review, um, just saying, just saying, okay. Uh, and also, I'm offering a new service called Life Coaching, and it's um, it's different than the readings. No spiritual downloads or any or no tarot cards. It's basically just one on one hashtag real talk about real life stuff. You want to check out more details? I made a video about it. If you want to check that out, okay. And the pricing and details for that. Um, is in the description box below as well. Okay. All right. So I received another channeling. It's 3 10 a.m. on 10 12 of 2022. Dude, I'm going to bed at this. And that's just true. For real, for real. But I was up. I uh, was in my rose petal um, bath with Himalayan sea salt. And I was just chillaxing, listening to somebody else, some, another person's reading. Um, and that's just the truth. And it was wonderful. Uh, but. I received another download, so I'm on here. Um, I will probably work on some sign readings tomorrow, to be honest. Maybe, but I will tell you for sure, it's my weekend with my kids this weekend. I will not be on here past 12 p.m. on Friday the 7th, for sure, for sure, because I will be on the road to Knoxville, Tennessee to go see my kids. So I might do maybe, maybe one, to maybe one to two to three to maybe four videos um, tomorrow. But after 12 p.m. Central Standard Time, um, on 10-7-2022, I will not be on here because I will be on the road, okay? Just let everybody know. Okay. So the channel message I received was um, someone was... Um, trying to garner some information on somebody i heard in not a creepy stalky way and i heard that specifically not a creepy stalky way um i heard um address i heard marital status and there was a third one hold on there was three address marital status and there was another one give me a second i had a brain fart I forgot the third one. I forgot it. There was three. Address, marital status, and there was a third one. But I, for, I have forgotten the third one. If I remember it, I'll let you know. I do apologize. Address, marital status, and there was a third one. But I have forgotten it. If I remember it, I'll let you know. But anyway, so somebody was trying to garner this information, I think, off you, Collective, if this resonates for you, or somebody you're connected to. But I heard not in a creepy stalker way. So. They wanted to know this information on this person. I feel you or somebody you're connected to, but they didn't want to go about it in like a intrusive invasion of boundaries kind of way, um, overstepping bounds, that, kind, you know, invasion of privacy kind of way. They wanted to garner it in some other type of way. Address, marital status, and, and whatever that third one was. I have to remember it. Um, but I heard they have, they have garnered the information. I heard they have for many series of time events. They have garnered the information. Um, 
obviously I'm assuming not in a creepy stalker way. Confirmation for my kitty. But I heard through many series of time events that are about to use it in a very positive way and it's about to help you out in a um, positive way. Um, them, you and them. I heard you and them in a positive way. So you plug it in how it resonates. So um, no creepy stalker alert. That's wonderful if that resonates for you. No creepy stalker alert. Thank God everybody can take a deep breath because um, nobody deserves creepers and stalkers. And that's just damn, that's damn truth. Um, address, marital status, and it's about to drive me crazy for a third thing. That's just the truth. But however that resonates, um, it's about to, they have garnered it. Social media platform. Social media platform. Okay. I just heard social media platform. So they've garnered it, garnered it on your social media platform or somebody's social media platform. Heard social media platform. So it was either your social media platform collective they garnered it from or somebody else's. But somehow a social media platform is involved in them garnering the information. Whether it's your social media platform they garnered it from or somebody else's. Um, they wanted to know if you're single, if you're married, if you're divorced, if you're separated. Um, or what have you, what have you, polyamorous, I mean, whatever, whatever, but, um, and, um, damn it, <laughs> I'm having such brain force, I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> uh, um, and, um, and your address, and your address, but I heard they have garnered it, and, um, I heard it's about to benefit you and them. So, whoever this person is, I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. I'm ready to go to bed, man. For some, it's a former co-worker. For some, it's a private investigator. For some, it is a person of your past. You went to school with. Okay, for some, it's a private investigator. For some, it's a former co-worker. And for some, it is a person of your past, someone you went to school with. So... You know, to me, that could be preschool all the way up to college. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Whoever these people are and how that applies. Okay. Okay. Your message is here Success. Yeah, I heard they they I heard they garnered it. They did garner it, garner it, and um, I heard it's going to benefit you and them in a huge way. Whether it's your ex coworker, uh, I'm assuming you're positively connected to them, or you used to be. How that resonates. Um, a person of your past that you went to school with in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel this could be pre K to college. You plug it in how it resonates or a private investigator. Heard it's about to benefit you and them in a huge way. So there's about to be success here in a huge way. For one, you didn't know an air sign energy was secretly behind the scenes, really trying to ruin your five-year plan. And they were successful. But through many series of chain events, the energy is about to boomerang all back upon them in a huge negative way. And you are about to start going in a very positive way. Low vibrational air sign. Well, that, that is some seriously, sh and a water sign, and a water sign, a water sign and an air sign. Okay, so that's some seriously tight, tasty shit, and that's just the truth. Anybody that tries to ruin somebody's five-year plan, now, if you're not sure what five-year plan is, you can Google it, but it's basically 
a goal setting, strate strategical goal setting, self goal setting plan for oneself to keep track of their progress. Because, you know, you're supposed to keep going up in life, not go down. Like getting wrongfully terminated in your city four times and getting your kids taken away when the planning center wasn't even met. Kind of inner, just saying. Um, just saying. Um, but yeah, so I heard um, it was the air sign and the water sign. They have Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Taurus, Masculine, or Fem, air sign, or water sign. But I heard it was secretly behind the scenes. So they were secretly behind the scenes strategically apparently they knew your five-year plan um your five-year plan for success i'm assuming anybody that has a five-year plan they have goals and aspirations and dreams in life i'll tell you that they have goals aspirations and dreams in life if anybody creates a five-year plan or I, I can't say anybody most people that create a five-year plan they have goals dreams and aspirations in life and that's just the truth for real for real you don't just sit down and create a five-year plan just for the hell of it, usually. Um, usually, you're going to stick by it, hopefully, and get yourself up, is what I'm saying. There's a reason you sit down and create this thing. But this air sign and this water sign knew your five-year plan. Somehow, they knew it. So, super sleuth energy, super stalker energy, hacking how the hell they garnered your five-year plan or maybe talking to somebody close to you. But somehow they garnered your five-year plan and I heard they set out to seek and destroy you secretly behind the scenes for five years. And I heard they were successful. They did ruin your five-year plan goals. But it was because of huge tower moments created behind the scenes beyond your control. I think because they knew people, uh, they were creating such chaos that, you know, you had to put out this fire, put out this fire, put out this fire to keep going kind of thing. Um, I heard they were successful, but I heard the energy is about to shift in a huge way. Their life is about to go down and yours is about to go up. So you are about to achieve success. Whoever you are, I think they did get you down, but I don't think they, like, beat you up if that makes sense like they knocked you down but they didn't leave you bloody and bruised and like disabled like dysfunctional like you're still going is what i'm saying even though they did screw up your five-year plan for success you still were able to keep functioning and moving and growing just not at as just not meeting your five-year goals and goals, if that makes sense. They are about to experience huge, huge, huge negative tower moments in their life, and many of them. And you are about to rise. You've already started rising like a phoenix, and you're really about to start rising. Quickly, 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 quickly this time. It was a slow process rising in the past, but soon it is about to start going very fast, very fast. Well, there you go. Holy crap. Okay, so they 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 got you down, and I heard they were successful. You, you did not meet your five-year goals. It doesn't sound like any of them. But like I stated previously, just because you didn't meet your five-year goals, they beat you down, yes. Uh, but they didn't you're not bleeding out you're not like you're not dead you're not a sicily you're still going so that's good is what i'm saying um are they about to experience many negative tower moments so they're about to start going down quickly but it sounds like one they were creating negative tower moments behind the scenes so you wouldn't succeed in the past if you didn't know that i feel for a lot of you guys you're highly intuitive and you knew that but and I feel you didn't even, like, you're not, I don't feel you messed with them behind the scenes. You most certainly didn't. And that's why it's about to go down for them in a huge way. That's confirmation. Okay, I heard you most certainly didn't. And that's why it's about to go down for them in a huge way. So you didn't retaliate back, basically. 
They created all these huge negative tower moments for you behind the scenes. So you wouldn't be successful. So you wouldn't meet your five-year goals. I think so you would have, your confidence would decline. So you wouldn't, uh, maybe so you would give up. Maybe so you would think down upon yourself. But whoever you are, I don't think you're that way. I think you are very realistic about your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, your capabilities. And I think you knew there was more going on. And I'm just being for real. I didn't hear that from the spiritual realm. But I'm being for real. I mean, that's my intuitive take on this. And I think you knew there was more behind the scenes. I don't care if anybody told you there was or not. And I'm just being for real. Your intuitive sense inside yourself. Um, and I heard you're right. There was. There was. But you didn't retaliate back. So since you didn't retaliate back, I think this is the, that's why the karma is about to start going down so bad for them. It's a water sign and air sign. I mean, I heard it's about to start going down quick and you are about to start going up quick. But the energy is reversing because I feel, I didn't hear this. I just intuitively feel because you didn't retaliate back. Because they put all this negative out in the universe behind the scenes. Negative tower moment. Negative tower moment. Have to put the fire out. 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 Gotta survive. Gotta survive. Gotta survive. When you should have been thriving and meeting your goals year after year after year after year. But instead you were putting fires out. Putting fires out. Putting fires out. Stress upon stress upon stress upon stress. Because these people were creating all the stress behind the scenes for you. But you didn't retaliate back. You handled it very gracefully. You handled very tactfully. I don't feel, you know, you, I don't feel you went out and beat anybody up, bloodied anybody to a pulp, were breaking into people's homes or creating crime or mischievousness or what have you, what have you. So now the energy shifted and what people had put in behind the scenes and up front is about to catch back, is about to catch up, either good or bad. So for you, you're about to go up quickly. They're about to go down quickly. I heard you have went up. You have went up. Even it, just because you didn't meet your five-year goals and what have you and what have you, you have still went up. But I just heard it's been slow. It's been a slow process. So that's a good thing. I mean, and that's saying something because they're creating all these fires for you to put out and all these negative tower moments for you behind the scenes, but you were still progressing up steady, like slow and steady wins the race. And that's still good. Even with, it sounds like many, at least two people, if not more than two people behind the scenes doing this shit to you. But for a lot of you guys, it was more than two. I just heard water sign, air sign, but you know, there's three signs per, I mean, plus it could be 50 Scorpios and two Libras and I'd one Gemini for all we know. I mean, I'm just saying, depending on each person's personal situation. But my point is, you were still able to sled slow and steady wins the race, progress even with all this shit other people were creating behind the scenes for you in a negative manner because they didn't want to see you succeed. So now the energy is reversed. It's time for you to shine. And that I feel energetically, that's why it's about to start going quick on both spectrums up for you quick and down for them quick because all the shysty shit is i mean the universe sees all and that's just the truth so you're about to experience huge success i'm gonna put one more in there i'm gonna close it i'm going to bed man and honestly whoever you are you freaking deserve it man because if it takes that many people and that many to behind the scenes all that behind the scenes work and all that um, plotting and planning behind the scenes. Well, these people deserve it. And that's just the damn truth. They deserve it. if Because uh, it sounds like you were their favorite little thing to do. I heard try again. I got retreat. You were their favorite little game. They like to play behind the scenes, but they didn't want to tell you. But now the um, energy shifted. So now it's time for you to basically um, succeed in a positive manner. 
Grace, number 49 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 49. With everything you've been through, you have really handled it with tact and grace. And you are about to rise up. Rise up in a huge positive way. Many people know you have handled this with tact and grace. A lot of it, a lot of self-control. And you are about to really catapult in a positive way. In many ways. Wow, this is beautiful. I'm channeling in that song as I just, after I channel this, I'm channeling in that song. Rise up, rise up, rise up. That's what I'm channeling. That's beautiful. So I heard many people know you've handled this with tact and grace. So many people know about this situation. I mean, it's not just a few people know about this. I feel, I mean, I heard many. So I'm feeling a shit ton of people. I'm feeling a shit ton of people help these low vibrational people behind the scenes create the tower moments for your ass. Because for some of you guys, there was a whole damn group doing it. And they were happy to do this shit. And I'm just being for real. I didn't hear that. I just intuitively feel it. But my point is, somehow many people know. Many. Not just a couple. Many people know. You handled it with tact and grace. I think these people are gossip gabbers and I'm just being for you. Um, but um, I heard they know you've handled it with tact and grace and basically your tact and grace handling all these negative tower moments thwarting your success and your five-year plan. These people knew about your five-year plan and basically suck out it's like seek and destroy, behind the scenes seek and destroy energy to ruin somebody's life, i.e. their five-year plan. That's some fucked up, weird mental health help shit I've ever heard in my life, and I'm just being for real. But that is the energy we're pulling in at 3.30 a.m. on 10-7-2022. But my point is, you have handled it with tact and grace. Many know you have, and I think that's what is about to catapult you up in a very fast way and about to catapult these down, down, catapult these people down in a very fast way because they know people, many people know your heart, how you handle this and who you are. And many people know their hearts, which are dark, dirty, demonic hearts. And I, I'm not being judgmental. I'm just, be, I'm telling you the facts from this shit. I mean, that's dark and demonic. If you seek and destroy behind the scenes, basically destroy somebody's five-year plan. That is dark and demonic. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being for real. Um, That you wasn't dark and demonic. You handled this with grace and tact. And these people are dark and demonic. Seek and destroy somebody's five-year plan behind the scenes. I mean, how yikes is that? Um. And I think that's why you're about to go up in a huge way and they're about to go down. I mean, that seriously is dark and demonic energy. I mean, it just really is. Has any of these people ever heard of staying in their own lane? And I'm just being for real. But, um, yeah. So somehow that's significant in here. And an invest private eye investigator, a co ex coworker of your past, and a someone you went to school with in the past getting your marital status and your address and there was another thing too and I still can't remember it that is significant too so I think these three people at least three people from your past if not more for some of you guys maybe they wanted to write you a letter with the address or find out if you're single or married or what have you what have you with the marital status and then that third one I still can't remember so what I'm trying to say is for some of you guys, you might end up getting a letter for some of these people is what I'm feeling. Because I heard address, a letter or a package or, or something of that nature, maybe certified mail or something um, with the address. And then some of them, I think they might want to date you or find out if you're available to go on a date or something. And then that third one, I still can't remember. Okay. 
I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. I'm really going to bed, okay? I love y'all. Namaste.